And I felt bad for my guy, Sean, because when he heard the Ravens sign Mike Thomas, he sent me a message because he thought that it was the Saints wide receiver, Mike Thomas. Uh, and it's so easy to get both of them confused. Both of their names are Mike Thomas. They spell the exact same. Uh, both of them play wide receiver. So he, he got a little hype, but this is not him. And w wasn't there another Mike Thomas, I think, that played for the Jaguars and the Texans? Out there? Was, was that his name, Mike Thomas? But anyway, the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens, they have signed wide receiver. Mike Thomas to their practice squad. Mike Thomas, who is Mike Thomas? He's a former Cincinnati Bengal, former uh, LA Ram, um, or what were they, the St. Louis Rams back then? Uh, 2016 six round pick. Uh, he has 30 career receptions for 366 yards and one touchdown. Uh, but he is joining the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. I wonder if this is an indication of maybe an injury to a wide receiver. I don't know. Maybe the injury to a wide receiver on a practice squad. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm still wondering where Andy Isabella is. Ravens continue making these different moves at wide receiver. And Andy Isabella is still on their practice squad. We have not heard a word about him yet. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Ravens have been some busybodies though, but what to expect from Mike Thomas? Um, I don't really think you should really expect anything much. Uh, and that's nothing against him. It's more so speaking about the Ravens. I, I don't think that he's going to come in and really take anything from anybody. Uh, they got, um, unless they were to do some like crazy injury reserve to somebody, but they got Deshaun Jackson. He's on the active roster. Devin DuVernay, James Prochet. Um, Demarcus Robinson So it ain't like he gonna come in and get a bunch of time anyway Even if he did play So I think the expectation should remain low uh, For Mike Thomas with him joining the Baltimore Ravens Hey, we, hey, we still got Shamar Bridges now, Hey, now It couldn't hurt now It can only help If Ravens put Shamar Bridges out there But don't get me started on that, man Cause we, we could use some more Florida Ravens But anyway um, In practice today because I was thinking, like, with them signing Mike Thomas, maybe it may be an indication of a wide receiver missing from practice today, but there wasn't. Wasn't any receivers missing. Um, but Lamar Jackson, he was not part of their practice today, uh, at least the media's portion. Um, neither was Calais Campbell, Marcus Peters, and, and both of them are expected to be out uh, in this Falcons game. Um, they said that Marcus Peters, he'll definitely be out. Ravens didn't say it yet, but the reports are that he'll definitely be out for at least probably in, like, the next couple of weeks. Uh, and for Calais Campbell, they said that his status was up in the air. Harbaugh didn't dive into anything, any specific details, anything with Calais Campbell. But he probably not going to play either. Um, J.K. Dobbins, he didn't practice. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, Kevin Zeitler, Morgan Moses, Justin Houston. So a lot of the Ravens older vets, um, they didn't practice. But Calais Campbell, I mean, he's an older vet, but he got hurt in the game. So we know why. But anyway, um, but yeah, Lamar Jackson was not a part of that practice. So that is something to watch out for. And especially... Um, tomorrow Tomorrow when they uh, really get to practicing Now the Ravens also made some other moves um, They signed yesterday We didn't get to do this one yesterday They signed a guard to the practice squad John Simpson Former uh, Las Vegas Raider I, I was about to call him an Oakland Raider But former Las Vegas Raider And they released um, their outside linebacker Julian Stanford from the practice squad I think we've been seeing him on the field Like on special teams a little bit I think we have been But Anyway, um, and, and another move, which is great, like the Ravens, again, earlier this year, super thin, very thin at inside and outside line, super thin. But as the year went on, and of course they made the trade for um, Roquan Smith, uh, they got more and more thick, well, I don't want to call the Ravens thick there, but they got more and more deep there at the, uh, at the both linebacker positions, both inside and outside. Of course, we're getting the Bowser back, Justin Houston came back. Uh, JPP continued, um, and uh, David Ajabo, uh, he came back. I think I said Ajabo already, but anyway, they got a lot more depth there now than they did at the, at early on in the season, in the same way with inside linebacker because they designated Josh Ross uh, to come back, and this was their undrafted free agent, I want to say from Michigan, I believe, but he was doing his thing in preseason. He looked good. He was a good tackler. Didn't have all the speed in the world, but he was smart, and when you have smarts, that can account for – a lack of something in a different area. Uh, and he's not, like I said, he's not the most explosive linebacker or anything like that, but he had smarts and he was a good tackler. So I never expected him to start for the Ravens this year, but I thought he could get some, some play time here and there. Um, but now since he's back, 
that's a beautiful thing. Oh, but I just realized. Oh, but within the next twenty-one days, since they they designated him to return, um, he'll have to get a roster spot, and somebody will have to lose a roster spot. So in the next three weeks, somebody is going to be out of a roster spot. Uh, so we'll see exactly how that goes. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's that. Just a quick brief update. Real quick, special shout out to my guy, uh, Terrell. Appreciate you sending that on Cash App. Thank you, my friend. Um, and yeah, so we uh, make sure you check out the question from subscriber video that we dropped uh, a little while ago. My guy, George, he he went in. He went in uh, on his question. He, <laughs> he really went in, um, but I appreciated it. He went into a lot of detail on stuff that he had been feeling about the team for a long time, his views on the team for a long time and how they change a little bit. Uh, over time, but make sure y'all check that out. My guy Everett, he had a really good question too. He's also a new uh, Team Keep It Clean patron, so I appreciate that. Uh, and then my guy Gold Morano, he's the one that got us started off. So it is only three questions in that episode, but a lot of detail, a lot of specific detail about people's vision for these Baltimore Ravens. But anyway, I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all for supporting the way that y'all do. We out.